Why do we celebrate the anniversary of an assassination? Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have everyone around me executed. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring. There. You're ready. Thank you, Alexei. Open the doors. All hail Her Imperial Majesty, Emily Caldwin. Loyal subjects. We're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. Emily. You look tired, Father. Every year, I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble-rousers, and we'll catch the Crown Killer, eventually. People are saying it's you, that these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No, someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage, the ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. Majesty, before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor, the Duke of Serkonos. Ramsey says the Duke is bringing special gifts. That's intriguing. This great Luca Abel, Duke of Serkonos! Mechanical soldiers? Amazing. What is this, Ramsey? I didn't authorize those things. Your Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland. Serkonus offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation, the rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks, for now I give you the greatest gift of all, family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin, your rightful Empress. Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. My mother had a sister? My dearest niece, hello. It's not true. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But now I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Little Sparrow, blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal Protector, how naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Hear me, all of you. 
Your rightful Empress has returned. All hail the Empress Delight. First of her name. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the Crown Killer murder. What? I'll lock Lady Emily in her chambers, and I'll bring her to cold uh. prison until her trial. My father lost it all when I was a boy, so now I wear this uniform, and I send 20-year-olds out to patrol the Rose Gardens instead of drinking with the men from the shooting club. Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lady Emily, what happened? It'll be all, Captain Mayhew. Fancy weapon. What kind of sword folds in half? There's a legend in the Tower Guard about the Empress's last resort, a safe room inside your chambers holding enough gold to buy a good-sized island. They say that this ring is one of the only two keys to exist. What, what happened? Alexei. The throne room. Father. Nothing I can do alone. I need to get out of here. These bastards are working with Ramsay and the Duke of Circonos. Sir, how long is it going to take, Captain Ramsay? Put your horses, Corporal Dial. Ramsay knows what he's doing. The man is moving up in the world. He's all. How many times have I looked at that skyline? It feels like everything just changed. Is some sort of witch. How is this possible? Lady Emily, you're a... Where's the royal protector? There's a coup underway. My father is... He's imprisoned, for lack of a better word. You've got to get out of the tower. Through your safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the docks. Looking for the royal protector. Find her. Get out of Dunwall. Alexei, I'm sorry. Goodbye. room blocked off we should have the time we need just stay here and stall anyone who comes by i'll be back when i've searched the royal chambers assuming i don't accidentally lock myself in this damn safe room we'll cover for you if anyone from the duke's party returns huh, this is exciting everything's changing 
Yes, the natural order is reasserting itself. The Ramses once hosted the king and queen of Morley. Did you know that? I spent my childhood playing with the buntings and the boils, the cream of society. And very soon you'll be back at the top, Captain. That was for my father. This won't leave my hand again. It's not laundry day yet. Gotta be soon. I can't stand my own stench. I don't know how, but I'll make this right. I promise. Her reign is off to a grand start. Anton Sokolov made this lock. in here after the rat plague. This could be handy. I have a feeling I'll need these. Reserves won't help against Delilah, even if I had a way to carry it all out of here. Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. I should make my way to the docks. Somehow Delilah turned my father to stone. I will find a way to undo it. Traitorous dog. The city is crawling with the Duke's men. I need to find a ship. Listen up, I have bad news. Ramsey's dead. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Emily Caldwin has apparently fled the scene. We've got to find her. That's it. We've got your orders. Spread out and find the fugitive. We're in this with the Duke of Circano sink or swim. There's no way to turn back now.
the crown killer doesn't come back. Nasty business. Killing a kabod boil like that. Special edition, Empress Delilah Caldwin, rightful heir to the throne, has... Huh? What? You're not fit for the watch uniform. That man? Part of the Duke's coup, I'm sure of it now. And I saw him talking to Captain Ramsay of the City Watch. You weren't the only one fooled. But I never ordered those killings. I know that. I, it was irresponsible of me to print the name Crown Killer. I allowed myself to be coerced. Forgive me. You're forgiven. I'm not sure what happens next, but protect yourself. And when the time is right, tell people the truth. You can count on it. I won't ask you what your plans are, but for the sake of Dunwall and for the Empire itself, I hope you succeed. Lady, you want to hear what I've got to say. I guarantee it. Lady Emily, you won't get far with that face. Stamped on half the coins in the city. There's a coup underway and I'm being blamed for the Crown Killer murders. I don't care what my face looks like. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours, Anton Sokolov. We learned something scary down in the South. And I came to warn you. I know, Anton. But Corvo's gone. The Duke of Sirkonos is here with a woman named Delilah. They massacred everyone in the throne room. Then she did something I can't explain. There was nothing to do but run. Sometimes that's all you can do. This is my ship, the Dreadful Whale. We can head out as soon as you're ready. I need to get to Karnaka where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while and I've got to figure out what's going on. You're Corvo's daughter. I'll give you that. Should we go? Yes, I'm ready. Am I still aboard Megan's ship? It feels odd. this place? Where am I? I can feel something moving closer. Watching. Empress Emily Caldwin. I'm a friend of your father's from the bad old days. expected us to meet. 
I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Then you were rescued by a killer in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. But Delilah and the Duke are flies in the ointment, aren't they? How many of your own subjects are you ready to slaughter? And what are you willing to become? Fifteen years ago, I asked Corvo that last question. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn, Emily. He burns from the inside. I feel like I'm standing at the edge of something. All the stories, they're true. Incredible. This is how I'm going to save my father and reclaim the throne. What is that? It feels familiar. I know you. Do you remember? It's been so long, and you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself, it's good to know you're there. Mother? You're here, but you're not here. In my hand, but somewhere else. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand, and I will guide you when I can. sycophants of those around her. All of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game, and now she's an empress. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. When I was ten years old, bored with my lessons, I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is more off kilter than I imagined. Everything has been turned inside out, but I'm not gonna stop fighting until it makes sense again. Karnaka is the southernmost port in the empire, once proud but fallen into disarray. Under the new duke, the Grand Sirconan Guard has gotten increasingly oppressive beatings and firing squads. The blood flies are said to be worse than ever. This is the birthplace of my father. Megan Foster keeps to herself, like she's hiding something. 
but she helped me escape Dunwall, and for now, I need a place to stay out of sight. Delilah and the Duke made me look like a murderer, using the crown killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine, and I'm going to get it back, even if I have to burn this city to the ground. Man, this is some shit. Back to that city. What would we have done in the old days? All sharp metal and shadows, we'd say. You're up. When you're ready to talk, I'll tell you what I know. All right. You've explained part of it. But what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka. But he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn Corvo. There are reports about tensions rising. Corruption. Street violence. I... didn't give it much mind. Usually the local authorities resolve that sort of thing. <sighs> the new Duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set up for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The Crown Killer. Adermeyer. All right. I'll get inside. The Crown Killer has to be eliminated, and if the Alchemist will cooperate, maybe I can learn something about what happened to Sokolov. Wish me luck. If you need my luck, Sokolov's as good as dead. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. Dearest Emily, or must I say, your Imperial Majesty, I have something that you and Corvo must hear at the first opportunity. It concerns the murders happening across the Empire, committed by this so-called Crown Killer. When I left Crystal years ago, I swore I'd never again take part in any further political matters. I've done my share of bad things, and some good, before and after the Rat Plague. But here in Karnaka, I've uncovered a terrible conspiracy against you. Here, at the bottom of the Empire, the cobblestones smell of death and corruption. I'm staying with an associate, Megan Foster, aboard her vessel, the Dreadful Whale. We'll leave for Dunwall in the morning, as soon as the tides are willing. I keep thinking of the way sweet Jessamine was stolen from you and your father, and I fear it might be your turn to face such turmoil. I know Corvo would protect you with his life, but please do not trust anyone. There you are, old man. I was asked to pay you a visit. What's wrong with you? Megan! <clears throat> Off we go. Sokolov, to somewhere more private. Ready for me to drop you at the docks? Let's go see the streets where my father grew up. Off we go then. It won't do to be recognized. I'd take you to Adamire by boat, but security's too tight. The Grand Guard have a watchtower there. Go inland. 
and use the carriage station. Before his death, the old Duke of Circono spent decades building up Karnaka. After Duke Luca Bell took over, he started draining the wealth out of the city as fast as he could. Orgies and week-long feasts. Having more fun here than we were in Dunwall, it seems. Watch yourself on the way to Adamar. The Duke's given the Grand Guard run of the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. I'll keep my head. This is a good spot. Reach Adamire, take out the Crown Killer, and find out where Sokolov was taken. The alchemist, Hypatia. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Adamire. Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. My name's Mindy Blanchard, and you look like someone who goes into places where you don't belong. Wanna help me with something? You scratch my ass, I'll scratch yours. I need to get to Adermeyer Institute. Can you help me with that? Yeah, I know how to do that. You go get a body for me, and I'll help you with your problem. Don't worry, he's already dead. A body? That's odd. From where? The overseers are holding him at their outpost. They think he was a kind of a witch. I want the body for reasons of my own. Sneak in and take it. Then meet me in the old basement below the dentist office near there. I'll think about it. Enclave, here in the city, for instance. They're made in a few locations, kept from us, 
and shipped out. Hmm. It seems dangerous. Far worse to have the... <laughs> What? One of us this is down. This body is important. Even though I don't fully understand the situation, we'll wait for the vice overseer. When should Byrne arrive? He's engaged currently. He'll send someone else. Maybe overseer Kundana. Until then. Well, that was a rat. It was a fat one. That's it. The body Mindy sent me after. <clears throat> Never do the dirty work when you can get someone else to do it. Hey, you got it. Put it down in the hole. Put it down. Good job. Take this. I won't ask you why you needed that. So how do I get to Adermeyer? I just sent one of my boys to turn off the power to the carriage rails. When the juice is off, you can walk along the rails and get where you need to go. On the other side, there's a station that will take you to Adermeyer. Better than nothing. Thanks for your help. Adermeyer Institute of Infectious Disease. Alexandria Hypatia, chief alchemist. Once it was a solarium for pampered aristocrats recuperating from their imagined ills. Now it's a place of alchemical study. The crown killers taking lives in my name, which is about to end. They say Dr. Hypatia's brilliant, but if she's involved with the murders, she's going to pay.
something under my fingernails again. What was I working with? Iodine, perhaps? Are you a patient of mine? I'm sorry. I... I should know that. I'm here to ask you about something. Do you cover your face because you were hurt? The afflictions we treat here are more common than anyone likes to admit. I'm not here for treatment. I'm looking for Anton Sokolov. Sokolov? Yes, he was here for a short time. But she took him away to see Kirin Jindosh. Do you... Do you hear something? What about the crown killer? The patient of yours? The crown killer? That name came from the newspapers. I'm afraid I don't... Oh, yes, the murders. I was in Dunwall, studying diseases found among whaling crews. Wait, did someone just call me? I've been forgetting things. The crown killer is an interesting case. I feel almost sure I could help with that. It's just, I used to do such good work, and now my memory is failing me. Who is that calling me? Excuse me. scoop the brains out of his skull. I see. Keep this to yourself, will you? No need to spread silly rumors. Of course, ma'am. Let's find out if I can make him see reason. One night at the boarding house. One night. Now I'm covered in shankers. She believe me. Dr. Hybation, she believes me. She knows something's not right in that of mine. Dr. Hypatia did this. She's the crown killer. But she's not herself. She d developed a serum trying to help the miners. The first version caused horrible changes to her mind. It's too late for me, but maybe you can still save her. She's a good person. What can I do? In my safe, in disease treatment, you'll figure out how to make the counter serum 
help her. The safe code is 312. She's gone. What happened? See what's in here. Vasco's notes. sake. I hope this works. Something's not right with me. Maybe I contracted something working with infectious samples. No. Someone was poisoning you. But you should be better now. I found some alchemical notes and made a counter serum. Poisoning me? Don't worry. I'm gonna take care of it. If you need a place to lay low for a few days, come find us. I'm staying with an ally on a boat called the Dreadful Whale.
Damn it, my helmet! I'll lay low until you're finished. Can we leave this place yet? I don't like it. Ready now? Yes. Let's get back to the ship. Did you find Sokolov? No. But Hypatia was the crown killer. What? I don't believe you. The Duke tricked her into injecting herself with a flawed version of her serum. It changed her, but there was an antidote, so she's alive. If she remembers the murders, she'll have to deal with that. What about Sokolov? They gave him to a man named Kieran Jindosh. Do you know him? Everybody knows him. The grand inventor of Sirkonos. Then he's next. Let's hope Anton's all right. In his day, Sokolov was Dunwall's genius. His inventions transformed the city. I watched from the tower as they changed the capital into a prison, and listened as he drank and laughed, telling my mother time and again how brilliant he was. After her death, Sokolov's inventions helped a tyrant take control of the Empire. Now, all these years later, Kieran Jindosh is Karnaka's genius. The mad inventor who's given the Duke sinister machines that move like people but aren't. Clockwork soldiers that fight and kill. I've got to find out where Sokolov's being held and bring the old man back alive. Rescue one genius and kill the other before he creates an army of clockwork soldiers. You're here. Stay with me a moment. Dr. Hypatia, can you remember anything that might help me? I need to find Anton Sokolov. He could be the key to unraveling the Duke's plans. My memories are disjointed. The Duke is close to his grand inventor, Kirin Jindosh. But that man has the empathy of a mantis. He seems to both admire and despise Sokolov. We visited Aramis Stilton. I liked him. But... something bad happened. <sighs> Just snatches a memory. <laughs> Sorry. You should rest easy for a while. Maybe some of that will help. I hope so. I'm not sure I even fully understand what you did for me. But I owe you for helping me at Adamire. Thank you. Let's hope your friend doesn't sink the boat while we're gone. Ready? All right, let's get underway. Jindosh is important to the Duke's inner circle. The Grand Guard watches his mansion, and they'll call down the entire city if they find out who you are. I'll make sure they don't. You said there's a wall of light cutting off access to the carriage station? Yes. But there's a black market shop nearby. They sell on the sly. 
ever use a rewiring tool. Corvo taught me the theory. Good. Get past the wall of light, then ride the carriage to where Jindosh lives. And there's a reason people are afraid of his mansion. I'll get it done. Emily, take care of this crazy man and his clockwork soldiers, then bring Sokolov back. He means a lot to me. Another of these shops was robbed. I'd hire guards if I could afford it. I don't know you. I'm new to Karnaka. I need a tool that can rewire a wall of light, the kind the Grand Guard uses. And I'd prefer not to explain myself. I can help you out, but not right now. Don't even linger here. I'm supposed to get a visit from Paolo, someone you don't want to meet. Come back later. Understood. You should go. We can do business another time. Like I said, Paolo is coming by. I think he's here. Hide yourself. That's it. Stay out of sight. I need eight new cutters, short blades, the good stuff, Morley steel. I know what you mean. Do you? Because last time you gave me some backwater foundry garbage that wouldn't hold an edge and snapped against Grand Guard armor. I got taken on that deal too, but I'll make it up to you, Paolo. Pop off maybe 10%? 30, because I like you by next week. That's fair. I made a bad faith trade and I regret it. You'll have the cutters, I promise. Good, good. These are strange times. Overseer. Who do we have here? I wonder why your face is covered, lady. That's my business. Who are you supposed to be? I'm Paolo. In this part of town, everything's my business. And slumming rich kids should remember all that etiquette they learned. Maybe you need another lesson. Is that what you came down here for? She won't go I'm told they're... What just happened? He changed. Right at the end. Paolo's not just a gang leader. Come in. Ah, I might have what you've been asking for. A deal well made. Come back soon. I mean, if I'm still here.
Jindosh's mansion from here. The carriage line is blocked. I'll have to unlock the gate. has a strange beauty to it, but all such places must eventually come to ruin. Jindosh, it's time to pay for what you've done, and maybe I can find Sokolov. Impressive, Jindosh. Then you must also know why I'm here. I'd assume my involvement with the Duke brought you to my door. Or maybe you're after washed-up Anton Sokolov, comfortably residing in the assessment chamber. Either way, come find me and take whatever it is you seek. But if you fall, I'll have your body carried to my lab for dissection and study. Until either comes to pass, your secret is safe with me. I'll see you soon, Jindosh. Until then. Clapper soldiers, there's an interloper in my home. Well, well my back the machine the machine is in the active state now. Waking up. The machine is experiencing uncertainty. Okay, the machine has detected something. Playback for detection registered. Coming. Coming. Focus. Playback indicates some Major detection without certainty. Now that you're on this, Alive. 
part, I made this place for luxury and spectacle, I suppose, but it's more than that. This place is a testament to engineering itself. You out of here. Jendosh has bigger plans than you know. An army of his clockwork soldiers. It would be the end. I'm going to visit Jindosh too, old friend. <laughs> You'll be safer in the carriage, Sokolov. Then, I owe Jindosh a visit.
The machine has entered combat. Okay, at least Anton is safe. Now, for Jindosh. be the electroshock machine Jindosh mentioned. The other lab machines are draining away too much electricity.
The electroshock machine should work now. No! 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 You don't know what you're doing! Anything! I'll give you anything you want! Stop! Don't do this! So much will be lost! An age of advancement! This is what you were going to do to Anton Sokolov. And if I combine the acid against a copper plate, it... What does it do? I knew that a moment ago. Does anyone know the answer? I had an idea, but it's gone now. I'm very much afraid of what's happened. did it. How is he? He's frail and wounded, but he'll recover. I didn't think it was possible. You must have a story to tell. I'll hear it back at the ship. Let's go then. somehow different this time. Surprised I can 
pull you into this place? The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned your father into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. Am I dreaming? If not, how is Delilah doing this? go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year, I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Like, don't win. We were just playing. We were just playing. It was your now. It was her. Delilah's life. She broke it. saw the nastiest parts of Dunwall, ending up in Debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the Outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! Your sentence is served and she'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. Hard to know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. When I saw what they'd done to Anton Sokolov, I wanted to hurt everyone who'd helped Delilah and the Duke of Sirkonos pull off their coup. Sokolov is the man who made whale oil into a weapon, who turned back the plague, and now he's barely able to speak. The hands that painted the most powerful men and women of our time shake too badly to hold a spoon. When he does talk, he's going to give me a name. The next step along the way to Duke Luca Abel, then Delilah herself. A name. That's all I need. It wasn't a dream, was it? Am, Am I, I to, to blame, blame for Delilah's, Delilah's bitterness? All this is her doing, and she'll die for it. Our, Our decisions, decisions have weight. I, I feel, feel my time, time drawing to an end. Soon. Jim 
Mandos wanted me to help him with a rather complicated problem. It would have enabled him to make his clockwork soldiers at a fraction of the cost. Clever man. Not clever enough. What's wrong with people like that? A restless mind and an empty heart, perhaps. Jindosh would have snuffed me out as soon as he got bored. I appreciate what Emily did for me, freeing me from that place. I searched for you, Anton. I would have found you. I knew you'd try, Megan. They kept me going after they gave me to Jindosh. Either way, you're back now. I'm glad. Anton, you've had three days to rest. Tell me how to kill Delilah. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne and my father is missing. This is Anton Sokolov, the greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other. But Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sir Konos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of? Or what she's up to. For a man of his age, Sokolov's making better progress than I would have expected. Good to see you're still with us. Thank you for helping, Anton. Sokolov's not the only one making a rapid recovery. I'll be good enough to leave soon. There's a lot to do. Of course, unless the Duke falls, he'll undo my best efforts here. Then we'll have to make sure Duke Luca Abel doesn't overstay his welcome. Karnaka's key leaders are flawed for certain. After all, this is settled with the Duke, and the time of the coup has passed. Whichever ones are left standing could change things here. Consider that, as you come face to face with the Duke's remaining associates. Some of them have made their beds, Alexandria. We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon.
Brianna Ashworth, curator of the Royal Conservatory. For a while, I believed Ashworth had some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. The overseers are the forward face of the Abbey, but equally important are our sisters from the Oracula Order. To be direct, I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracular Order? So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. across this dying city. Brianna Ashworth would have been miserable as a member of high society, forced to win some bloated banker. Her only moments of real freedom, getting drunk at fancy balls, and slipping away to couple with strangers. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage and a late night plunge into an icy river. But, just before mother and father married her off, so many years ago, she found Delilah instead. It was all highways and graveyards after that, never looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashworth's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well. Jindosh was tiresome. How does this even work? If I can sabotage Ashworth's communion device, she'll be powerless. He's a gibbering idiot now. I don't know, Delilah. Forgive me. No, my dear. It's a loss. But I doubt he had anything more to give us. Sokolov was taken away as well. Who would want that ancient fool? Never mind. How goes the communion? I am hungry to whisper into the ears of the oracular sisters. My influence grows. Last night, I walked through a dream with one of them, and we drank from a fountain in the town where she was born. Vice Overseer Byrne's suspicions were right. Business with Jindosh won't affect things. No. He continued to tinker with the lenses. Thicker, thinner, more opaque. It was tiresome to watch. I still had the old lenses and cast-off parts piled in my workshop, but Jindosh finished some time ago. The rest is up to me, learning to use a machine. A tricky thing, touching the void through such a device. Blood and biscuits. I look forward to using it myself once you're ready. Will you visit soon? Perhaps. Dunwall Tower is mostly in hand. The High Overseer won't be a problem anymore. 
And there's the matter of my own project. I grow more excited with each brushstroke. When I come to Karnaka, we'll drink an ocean of good wine and stay tight as a boiled owl. I look forward to it. For now, I need your eyes on the Duke. At least until we have the sisters under control. There's no one else I trust. I'll reach out to you again on the morrow. Farewell. <laughs> Goodbye, Delilah, my empress. It seems rather rude to die here. As if you could ever hide your face from me, Emily. Little Black Sparrow, free from your cage at last. Brianna Ashworth is dead. Spoiled child! You had no right! Born into a silk-padded cradle, you'll never understand what she meant to me. And everything you've stolen? All the lives you've ruined? It should have been mine to begin with. Everything that's happened is wrong. But don't you worry, I'm going to make it all better. Give me back my throne and my father. Come and take them, girl. I welcome you to my tower. Delilah fell to the assassin Dowd. Her magic was lost, and the coven scattered. I made a new life in Karnaka. Then I heard her whispering from the void, leading me to the Duke, who heard those same whispers. Together we worked to bring Delilah back into the world, changing the Empire from the home of Aramis Stilton three years ago. Across the Isles, all of us who'd been with her at Brigmore and before, we felt the magic return. Others joined. New faces, new blood. Now, Delilah is immortal. Forever. She holds Dunwall, and we've turned to corrupting the oracular order. The overseers take guidance from their prophetic sisters, and soon we'll influence their dreams and visions. So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Emily, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. Isn't that a requirement for citizenship? What I've got to say is not a joke. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Fought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret. You never know who to trust, do you? Everybody makes mistakes, Empress. You'll have to tell me all your secrets someday. Are you ready to leave now? Yes. Let's go. Take me back to the Dreadful Whale. Another step toward the Duke of Circonos and Delilah. For several years, Delilah's been here, getting stronger, turning people against me. 
Why didn't I see it coming? What was I doing during that time? Pretending to listen at court, ruling through an army of bureaucrats, waiting for the next chance to get free of Dunwall Tower. Well, now I'm free. If only I could go back. Aramis Stilton was once an ally of the Duke, the owner of Karnaka's mines. Stilton lived in a fortified bunker at the heart of the Dust District. No one's seen him for years, since around the time Delilah started making her moves. But whether Stilton's alive or dead, his home holds the key to Delilah's immortality. out in this city, but I'll explain. I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first, through a ruin created by the Duke. Where my father grew up. Megan had an intriguing idea. Paolo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy, and they'll treat you like family. You think they'll help me get into Aramis Stilton's home? I'm pretty sure that will work. Seeing this place and these people, I can feel my perspective changing. How will I be different after this? Who was the man I'm after? Aramis Stilton? An ally to the old Duke. Loyal and smart. Stilton helped build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Started as a miner and worked his way up until he was a prince of industry. Now, the new Duke drives the mine crews night and day. Dust falls non-stop onto the district. What was once prosperous is now in ruins. I suppose the Duke doesn't care, as long as he sips from silver cups. And what are the cups at Dunwall Tower made from, Empress? In any case, you'll have to pass through the Dust District to reach Stoughton's home. Maybe he's still in there, or maybe he's dead. the dust district. She'll tell you more. I'll wait here with this skiff and take you back to the dreadful whale after you finish. The overseers won't just leave the district. And the howlers can't. Paolo has a price on Burns' head. And the Vice Overseer effectively wants the same thing. Hello, Emily. Stilton's home is just beyond here. But getting inside will take some effort. I've been doing reconnaissance. Talking to people. The Overseers and the Howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the Howlers and the Overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, 
they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you had an idea. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrne, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them and bring him to the other. What else do you know that might help me? Byrne is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers. But I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. unhinged cultists who believe I will grant them favors if they leave a big enough offering or play just the right musical notes. He doesn't care a fig for me. But he put up this shrine because he found the hand of an old witch I knew once. And Paolo saw right away that it pays to have an edge. Sometimes pieces of us linger long after we're gone. The Duke of Circanos inherited a vibrant city and wasted no time stripping it to the bone. What will he leave behind? And what about you? Who will you leave to pick up the pieces here in the Jewel of the South? Once the Abbey's off our backs, I'll make it too expensive for the Duke to run the mines. If the workers stop digging, the Duke will see that mines producing at half speed are more profitable than mines producing nothing. For better working conditions and less dust in the streets, we'd be happy to up our payments. There's a way to satisfy everybody. First, in this district, then across the city. The people who work the mines have more power than they know. Thank you, Paolo. <coughs> all right, I'm stepping away for a moment. Don't drink all the rum while I'm gone. Deep in the mines, that's where I'll be. Don't bother, call for bother at all. Ah, short again, this must be resolved. If we eliminate Paolo, there's no end to the influence we'll exert over Karnaka, over all of Sirkonos. A dozen overseers have died trying to bring Paolo down. We've struck him fatal injuries, and somehow he comes back the next day to fight again. Whatever witchcraft he has, even the ancient music is ineffective. I believe Paolo is in possession of some unclean artifact. It's my fear that he has to be killed twice in one day. And the Duke won't help? The Duke is no friend of ours. He exiled me from the Grand Palace, and he's done everything possible to push the Abbey of the Everyman out of Sir Konos. The look on his face when he dismissed me from court. There's something wrong with people who live in palaces for too long. Thank <laughs> you. 
city is ours. I've been trying to bring Burn down for months. You did what others couldn't. And now you owe me, Paolo. We've been at war with the Abbey, not just oh. over territory, but over the people of Karnaka as well. This is my home. And I'm gonna send Burn to Dunwall without his hands to explain things to the High Overseer and the Empress herself. Bet you didn't see this coming, Vice Overseer. No. What is it you want? I need to get inside Aramis Stilton's house. You're intriguing. And maybe more dangerous than most who darken my doorway. I advise you to remember it. Here's what you'll need to enter the house. If you do have a hand in what comes next in Karnaka, I really hope you acquit yourself better than the Duke has. You can count on that, friend. The Duke's a worthless buffoon. Get this guy out of here. Needs booze to rinse out all the dust. From this will kick over the balance in Karnaka. Now the tide is turning, the Abbey is in shambles. Worked. The information was correct. Time is an odd thing. Growing up, I was excited about what the years might hold. About the Empire I'd someday rule. I recall childhood moments with my mother on her throne and my father a figure of mystery. I remember the rat plague, my mother's murder, and all that happened at the Hound Pits pub. Now this. I just want to put an end to Delilah's life and get my father back. This house holds Delilah's secrets. She pulled herself up from tragedy, grabbing the Empire and changing it to her liking. With Duke Luca of Bell, she transformed a coddled dilettante into a schemer who helped her take my throne. She's made herself immortal, and even my father's sword couldn't stop her breath. I'm going to find out how she did these things. The next time someone shoves a sword through her heart, it'll be me, and I expect her to die. That's strange. I feel drained by this place. Stilton's sealed off from the rest of the district. Like the wind. I think they're up there. 
Yo. Aramis Stilton. Form the quilts, will you? I found you. Three years ago, something inside Aramis Stilton snapped like a cheap lock. A part of him and a part of this house never left that evening. The Duke's inner circle are still gathered here, setting their grand plan into motion. Delilah's plan. And a part of Aramis Stilton is always here, still breaking. The Void is not exactly a place, and it's much older and stranger than you could ever know. It watches you from within, and at the heart of Stilton's house, the Void is leaking through a pinprick left behind by Delilah's little trick. Even magic is perverted here, and things don't work like they should. Take this. Imagine it's a kind of timepiece. Go and watch the Duke and Delilah. See for yourself what they did. Like it's going to be cold. We'll be getting started soon. The Duke's beloved is coming back. By the void. Your guests are waiting in the study. The Duke is demanding refreshments, and I can't get in without the combination. There's a note on the door, Captain Wonderball. What? Hmm. He's out back. I need the code to the study. It's in his notebook, ma'am, but he keeps it with him. Thank you, Corporal. Speaking bluntly, I really don't like Stilton's guests. Earlier, I got my ass chewed out by the royal curator. What's her name? You're talking about Brianna Ashworth, I believe. Yes, that's her. She's an odd one. Anyway, keep up the good work. Thank you, Captain. The only way out of here is through the present, using this timepiece. Stilton's home was quite nice before whatever happened. change in the present based on what I do here tonight. Something is wrong here. Even the air feels off. Tugged on it nightly. Damn. And ever so slightly. Take your tone. 
I assure you, I rub shoulders with some of Karnaka's best people. Trust me, you don't want to get tangled up with the Duke and his inner circle. I'm not sure how Mr. Stilton tolerates them, to be honest. Tossed off at the last minute because he's got more important ones? That's not like Stilton. Stand a chance anyway. Oh, shit. Stilton in better days. The Grand Guard was protecting Stilton back then. Just gotta watch my own back. Corvo always said, no survivors is the surest way. <laughs> By killing Stilton, I changed the past. But what will be different? There's the notebook. Two more months, she says, and she'll leave him. I can wait. <gasps> into the present, or vice versa. Things seem to be the worst here. The two times are overlapping now, somehow. Time to begin. Where's Stilton? I should never have kept him on just because he and my father were close. What we're about to attempt has never been done. It's beyond my understanding, and certainly beyond yours. If anyone has any doubts, set them aside now. This defies rational understanding. It's the frayed edge where natural philosophy crosses over into something else. Yes, I can feel it. We risk madness. All of you, Delilah is your rightful empress. You owe her this. Delilah's stronger than before. The Duke and I have heard her voice whispering to us. And now it's time, so take your positions. Focus on the boy behind the world. You can feel her power, can't you? By the star. More exciting than any orgy I've ever attended. Do it now! Yeah. Return from the cold. From forever. Yeah. 
Sokolov again at the skiff after a very strange day. Are you ready to leave? The dust is wreaking havoc on my throat. Yes. I paid a visit to Vice Overseer Byrne, and I've been to Stilton's house. We can go. Duke Luca Abel tore down the old palace in Karnaka and built himself a new one. 
a monument to his ego. Whether he knows it's coming or not, I'm here to make him pay for everything he's done. I'm going to show him what happens to those who turn traitor to the Empire. After tonight, the Duke will either be dead or deposed, depending on how this plays out. Whatever happens to Sir Konos in the aftermath is his fault, not mine. I've got to get inside, take care of the Duke, and find a way to steal Delilah's soul. You should be at peace. I have stayed too long. Find Elias' spirit. Trap her with this cage of dead flesh. Set me free. I don't understand. You will very soon. built it. Are you ready for this? I've been inside a dozen castles and a hundred mansions, and they're the same everywhere. The Duke's palace can't be anything worse than Lady Brisby's social afternoons. Killing off Duke Abella is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. You were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. Everyone who crosses my path on the way to Duke of Bell is going to regret it. They all deserve to bleed. Ready to visit the Duke? Let's get underway. At the palace, the Duke has a lookalike body double, meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker, if that helps. Maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. It's remarkable that people tolerate the Duke. He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crab. There were parties like that in Dunwall, full of toadies sucking up to me, stabbing each other in the back. Poor Empress. I could see those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you grew up hard, Megan. I used to wander Dunwall with my face hidden. But when I got tired of it, I could always go back to the tower. Karnaka's given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. Before. 
Maybe it looks different up close. Maybe here it's harder to ignore the way the people outside the palace get through the day. In any case, I know what you're after. The heart you carry can only hold one spirit at a time. So, if you want to walk out with a piece of Delilah, you better be ready to leave something behind. got the answer about my transfer inland. Relocation denied. Look on the bright side. The pay is better here than anywhere else, and we get to do the job how we see fit. Nobody's pestering us with forms and procedures anymore. We collect the fees we want and give out the beatings when they're needed. I just don't want my kids growing up here. It's too dangerous. Then reapply next month. The command staff changes constantly. New officers, new rules and spread a few coins here and there among the officers. at Adamire, back when it was open to the public. Different city in those days. Didn't know that. Man, you sure had a lot of different jobs. Guess so. I don't miss brining hagfish. Hands in salt all day, nails bleeding, choking on the factory air. At least when you joined the Grand Guard, you got a really soft position near the palace. You might change your mind about that after you've been here a while. Sometimes the Duke's friends do some strange shit. Really? Like what? One night, someone up there decided it'd be funny to throw down food at us. I got hit in the face with a pineapple. Then a whole roasted pig came down and split the boat in half. It was raining apples and meat pies. All sorts of nice food floating around in the water. Damn, with people in the city starving. Life's just not the same when you live up there, is it? I'm getting good and drunk after this. Which one is the Duke? I don't know where they found that guy with the political decoy job, but he looks and acts just like the Duke. I can't tell him apart. There are subtle differences. All right. Assuming you can pick out Duke Luca, how are we going to get his key? You leave that to me. Who knows what he's got in that vault? We'll be halfway to Gristle and rich before he's nursing the next day's hangover. It's a good plan, the way this place is run. And you're sure he always keeps the key with him? I'm sure. 
We'll do it tomorrow night when there's only one squad scheduled for patrol. Just be ready. Get ready to pay, Duke of Bell. It must be nice to be on the Duke's payroll. The Duke has some of the Jindosh Clockwork soldiers. Feels like we're living in an age of wonders. No plague, no war, no taxes, if you know the right people. New machines and new ideas. We eat the finest foods and we're guests in the Grand Palace. Friends squatting close to the Duke as he drains the blood from the corpse. That's why you don't get invited to half the parties I attend. the outsider's I'm balls tired for what? of all this hullabaloo. I'm paying good money to make sure things like this don't happen. Maybe I should hire my own bodyguard. I don't feel oh, safe. I'm anymore. hungry. Come on. The color of the sea yesterday. How hard can it be to clean a few things? Honestly, why do I pay for a house full of servants when they don't do anything? What would you do if you were the Duchess of Brooklyn for some other reason? The Queen of Mordor, or even the Empress. More of what I already do. Screwing, eating fine meals, smoking the best hammering. And when I wasn't doing that, I'd be buying exotic furniture from Tivia, having my apartments redecorated. So you wouldn't really change much? Uh, no, of course not. What's the point of having power if you can't just do whatever you want? What a day. The dinner service was late, the bath water was too warm, and let's see, oh yes, my slippers weren't in their usual spot. Next. Something unsavory going on. 
I'm getting good and drunk after this. They've got it all wrong. Last time I had a day off was in the month of ice. I'm... Why should I? Say the same. A mystery. Let's have it then. Who are you and what do you want? Listen, I think you're the Duke's body double. You can't have any love for the man. I'm here to end his rule, and I have an idea you should hear. All right, you've figured it out. But if you're not here to assassinate the Duke, what do you want? It occurs to me that you might make a more agreeable duke than Luca Abel. If I wanted to depose him without having to slit his throat, do you think you could convince people that you're the duke? That's bold. I have to admit it's crossed my mind. If people believed that I was actually Duke Abel and that he was the political decoy, we could have him committed for lunacy. We could convince everyone that the Doubles finally lost his mind and believes he's the duke. I spent years perfecting my performance. But there's a catch. He's got a medallion that I need. Even if I sound convincing, which should be the easy part, his Grand Guard officers will ask to see the medallion as proof. Luca never puts it aside. All right. It shouldn't take me long. Once it's done, I'll be leaving the city. Soon after, I'll send instructions from Dunwall, and I'll expect a great deal of flexibility and cooperation on your part. There's still time to pull Sir Konos back from the edge of the cliff. We can undo the damage Duke Abel has inflicted. I'd like that. But I'll guide Sir Konos in the ways I see fit for the people here, not as the hand-chosen puppet of your empire. If you agree with that, just render the Duke unconscious and bring him to his chambers. I'll handle the rest. what Duca Bell keeps hidden away in here. This must lead to the Duke's vault, but I need his key. The machine has completed another full instruction set. Increasing oil tank temperature.
Sit still, damn you! This is child's play. Where's the talent required? The Maybe we need a new decree for these slack about artists. All painters must be. Someone shooting at us! This opens the Duke's vault. Where's Duke? That's it then. Now it's up to me. I'll take the medallion and call them. I'll be watching. Break a leg. <laughs> Don't worry. I've spent years mimicking this asshole. Captain Almeida, come at once to my chambers. There's a problem. Quick, hide up there. Your Revenant, are you all right? Yes, yes, Captain. Please arrest this clown. It seems he's taken his role a little too seriously. Get your hands off me. This moonstruck idiot is lost in a nightmare. Take him away, Captain, and cut his tongue from his head. He'll not sully my name. Yes, Your Eminence. We'll handle it. What? This is outrageous. I'll have you all skinned alive and set in a salt bath. All those years pretending he was me. That must have taken a toll on his spirit. Now he's a danger to me and Sir Conus. No! Stop! I am the Duke of Circonus! You can't do this! Dr. Hypatia at Atomeyer will know what to do with the poor man. This must be the Duke's vault. This playback indicates some detection without certainty. When this plays, Check central rotor. Combat protocol six. The machine has been detached. This is the thing Ashworth made to hold Delilah's spirit.
This is it. Release me from this dead vessel. Free of this poison world and try to lie the spirit. Do it. You were all I ever wanted. Let me go. I've seen too much of this world. There is blood on our hands. I did it for you. To keep your throne. For your legacy. My daughter. You are becoming everything I fought against. I love you. Now let me go. So it's done. Now to take the lines. Part of my half sister, only her flesh remains. I wonder if it was even really alive. You will never give back what you lost here. There. Now to wait. Is that it? The fall of Karnaka? From now on, the Duke will be guided by better stars. Back to the dreadful whale, then, and on toward Dunwall. Yes, at long last, to take back the throne and find a way to save my father. Ready, then? Take me back to the ship. All right, as you want. My life story changed when an assassin named Dao drove a sword through my mother's chest. Now I'm coming home with the same purpose in mind. Is this what Dowd felt? Planning the approach? Wondering how it would feel to kill an Empress? Whatever grand scheme you've got underway now, Delilah, you were smart when you stole this place from me. You knew who among my people to corrupt, and you took away my strongest ally, my father. But you didn't know me. You only saw a sheltered princess, you never thought I'd fight back. You don't know me, Delilah. But you will. Delilah's accomplished, coming from such a background, taking the throne. Now that we're here, I suppose you know where to go and what to do. You've killed a legion. So what's one more? If anyone deserves it, it's Delilah. She's got so much to answer for. At my age, I've come to distrust words like deserve. As I told you, I knew her long ago. Badly wounded, deep at her center, but cunning, and looking for a way to pull herself up. Perhaps more than anything, Delilah had a talent for imagining the world as a better place. If only that could have been channeled towards something less twisted. It's probably too late to dwell on regrets. Everyone feels some regret, atop a long line. Mine is now chiefly that I'm out of time. 
Take care of yourself. Goodbye, Anton. Back alleys. Killers fighting over thrones. What does it matter? Hey, there you are. I wanted a chance to talk. Megan, I'm taking the skiff. I want to go to Dunwall Tower alone. All right. Do you know how you're going to kill Delilah? If you leave her alive, she'll come for you sooner or later. I'll do whatever's necessary. No one takes what's mine. Just make sure you don't hesitate. Delilah's dangerous. You don't have to worry about that. If old Samuel could see me now. be made mortal again. You, you let, let your, your mother, mother slip, slip into oblivion. Do you know where my mother's resting? In, in a child's coffin. Her, her skin lids tucked beneath her because I couldn't afford a proper burial. While my father rests in the imperial crypt. You're lying. You still can't accept it, little girl. Your father was born a nobody. I inhabit your mother's heart, and my body walks the halls of your crumbling palace and sleeps between your sheets. If I learned anything in Karnaka, it's that you only deserve to keep your throne if you're ready to roll out a red carpet of blood before it. We'll be face to face soon, and I'll end you, Delilah. Serves you in the tower where you were born. The 
Lila's got the throne, and she's got your father. But now, she's got a secret as well. Delilah's somewhere inside the tower. Hope she's ready to die. You, come talk to me. I saw the High Overseer fall. All is lost. Leave this place. The Abbey assaulted the tower? Somehow we were overcome. Not just Delilah's sorcerers and their gravehounds, but mechanical men. Automated soldiers. And the ancient music was useless against them. Rest now. But know that I'm going to end Delilah's reign. I swear it. At death's door, I smell the corruption of the void upon you. A heretic against a heretic. Laughable. The world is doomed. Ago, she was spending all her time in that bleak little overseer chapel. What's afoot? What's she working on? She probably found it funny using the chapel as a studio, mixing pigments where those fools used to preach their nonsense. 
But she moved to the throne room once she was ready to start her new painting. Always exciting when she starts to sculpt or paint. Yes, but this one is special. Delilah says it's going to change everything. The world and all the spheres beyond. Go sneak a peek of it, if you dare. I can use the elevator to reach Delilah up in the throne room. I'll have to reach the security room to restore electricity to the tower and get the elevator working. Seer. So here we are. Where my dear, lying half-sister Jessamine and I played as children. Where your mother bedded your father, then gave birth to you. Where she was murdered by Dowd and his black-hearted crew. The place that ruined both our lives. You have a twisted view of the world. And I have no idea whether you're telling the truth or not. But it doesn't matter. No, you idiot. You don't eat hagfish. What low-born family miserable oaf like you into this world? Sorry, madam. I was never taught the right and proper ways of the aristocracy. We don't tolerate your kind here in Gunwall Tower. Only the finest among the gentlefolk dine at this. <laughs> Delilah's working on something terrible, but I might be able to sabotage it. By crafting more corrupt runes, I could disrupt Delilah's painting.
on, I can take the elevator to the throne room. I thought you, of all people, would understand. Those nights as a girl in the Hound Pits pub. Didn't you dream of getting this crown back? It was stolen from me first. Even before you came into the world. There's suffering across the face of the world, but I was born under rare stars. I know I'm far luckier than most, Delilah. None of that excuses the destruction in your wake. You've grown so wise, young niece. But remember, you are a woman with power. Someone will always try to shut you up or burn you to cinders. to my throne. Change the number of corrupt runes attached to the throne, it should turn Delilah's painting against her.
So this is the world she dreams about. Sit down. I'll explain it all. And so the Duke fell, and in his place rose a figure from the underworld. Paolo had come into the world with nothing, but was determined to leave it a very rich man. Sometimes power shouts, and sometimes it whispers. In Dunwall, with the death of Delilah Copperspoon, her coven lost its power and was smashed. The disastrous coup brought to an end. The rightful Empress once again seized her throne. And so it was that Emily the Vengeful rooted out the last of those who had betrayed her and ruled over her empire with her legendary father, Corvo Atano, standing by her side. In his day, Anton Sokolov lit the fires of industry, starting a great consuming blaze at the heart of the empire. He saw his machines used for war and oppression, watching the powerful crush those beneath them. Leaving Dunwall for the last time, he turned to the cold north, his energy spent at last, only an echo of the man he'd aspired to be. There are things that never change, no matter how hard you try. Questions you must answer. As Megan Foster faded from the world, Billy Lurk stepped from her shadow, setting out to discover her truest self and seeking the closest thing she'd ever known to family.
Now the sands of Circonos, they're burning in the sun. We cower in the alleys of streets where we did stroll While the Duke claims our riches and his firing squads patrol We run and hide until the evening ships sail When the night is black, only then we exhale
Just to 